With its quaint shops, historic buildings, and even an award-winning brewery, the town of Phillipsburg, established in 1890, is a favorite getaway for tourists in summer and winter months. But some residents say that the infrastructure is outdated and even dangerous. So town leadership is proposing a resort tax. I want the tanks to fill up when you flush the toilets. And I want the water to be dependable and I want it to be clean and I want it to, you know, nothing to be wrong with it. But these things cost money. This stuff's got asbestos in it. Scott Lyons is one of five council members tasked with fixing infrastructure problems, including a drinking water transmission line that consists of a patchwork of pipes dating from World War I and II. But stormwater runoff and the town's sewer system also need big updates. On West Broadway, every year, we have potholes. And they used to be the size that could break an ankle, and now they could hide half a Subaru. In all, Scott estimates the cost to fix the infrastructure is close to $100 million. So the council is floating a 4% resort tax. There's only so many ways that we can do this because we just don't have the money. So we can raise water rates, and we can raise sewer rates, but you can only do that so much because there's only so much people can afford. Or we can get other people to help, especially other people that are impacting the system. Welcome. The city council, I give them credit for wanting to undertake these projects in a timely manner. And I understand the need for revenue to support that. But in reality, they're trying to squeeze a turn up here by taking that money out of our hands. In Phillipsburg, Megan Thompson, MTN News.